The US Navy is the most powerful group of ships, carriers, and sailors on Earth. The Navy is older than the US, founded in 1775 as the Continental Navy, and is currently made up of 430 ships and submarines. It's been involved in more than 10 major wars, and combat has taken the Navy all over the world. The surface fleet is made up of 16 different classes of vessels, and includes amphibious assault ships, aircraft carriers, command ships, minesweepers, destroyers, littoral combat ships, and more. We put together a list of all the types of surface ships in service with the US Navy. The Gerald R. Ford class aircraft carrier is the newest carrier in the US fleet, and the intended replacement for the Nimitz class. The ship is 1,106 feet long and can carry more than 75 aircraft. The Ford class carriers are intended to have a large complement of F-35Cs, but delays in their development have put their deployment on hold. The ship has a number of new technologies, like the electromagnetic aircraft launch system, which is intended to replace the current steam-powered launch system on current aircraft carriers. As the Navy's newest carrier, new weapons may be added to the ship in the coming years, including lasers. One carrier is in active service, with another two under construction and two on order. USS Zumwalt Class Destroyer the Zumwalt class destroyer is the newest class of ship in service with the US Navy, and is intended to serve as a multi-mission stealth ship. The focus of the Zumwalt is supposed to be surface warfare and naval gunfire support. However the rounds required for its advanced gun system were judged too expensive, ranging from $800,000 to $1 million for a single round, making them inoperable. The Navy announced in March that it was planning on arming the Zumwalt with a suite of new missiles that can be used for anti-air, anti-surface, and ballistic missile defense. USS America-class Amphibious Assault Ship The America-class Amphibious Assault Ship was built to replace the aging Tarawa-class Amphibious Assault Ship. Unlike other ships in its role, the first two America-class vessels have no well deck. The ship can carry a number of different aircraft, like the F-35B, AV-8B Harrier II, V-22 Osprey, and the AH-1Z Viper. Eleven America-class ships are planned, with one in service, one awaiting sea trials, and another under construction. USS Freedom Class Littoral Combat Ship the Freedom Class Littoral Combat Ship LCS, is one of two littoral combat ships that are in service with the US Navy. LCS are capable of operating in the littoral zone, an area of the water close to the shore. The LCS concept has been heavily criticized and complained about in the past, but the Navy's plans to equip the ships with different mission modules gives them a promising future. They were designed to excel in three potential combat scenarios, anti-submarine warfare, mine clearing, and fending off small fast attack craft, like the ones used by Iran and Houthi rebels in Yemen. There are currently five active Freedom Class LCS, with another seven on the way. A larger version of the Freedom Class has also been selected by Saudi Arabia to be its next frigate. USS Independence Class Littoral Combat Ship The Independence Class Littoral Combat Ship is the second of the two LCS. Like its Freedom Class counterpart, the Independence Class will be equipped with new modules for certain missions. They are unique because of their trimaran design, which gives it multiple hulls. Like the Freedom Class, they can carry one MH-60 RS Seahawk helicopter, or two MQ-8B Fire Scouts, There are currently six Independence LCS in active service, with seven more under construction. Mm -hmm. 
USS San Antonio Class Amphibious Transport Dock. The San Antonio Class Amphibious Transport Dock is intended to carry hundreds of Marines, vehicles, and equipment for amphibious operations. They also hold carry two MV-22 Osprey tilt rotor aircraft for aerial insertions. The ships have undergone a number of problems. The Department of Defense issued a report in 2010 that they could only operate in a benign environment, and not in combat situations. There are currently 11 San Antonio-class ships in service, with two more on the way. Our Labor Class Destroyer With over 60 in active service, our Labor Class Guided Missile Destroyers make up the backbone of the U.S. fleet. They are intended to be multi-mission ships, able to carry out anti-ship, anti-air, and anti-submarine roles. Each destroyer has one Mark 45 gun, but the real firepower are its missiles, up to 96 of which can fit in its vertical launchers. The usual missiles include Tomahawks, RIM 66s, Sea Sparrows, RIM 174s, and Harpoons. 25 R. Labor class destroyers are also equipped with the Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense System. USS Wasp class amphibious assault ship. The Wasp class amphibious assault ship is a landing helicopter dock that assists in amphibious operations. They can carry a massive 1,800 Marine detachment, as well as landing crafts, armored vehicles, and helicopters. They can also carry Aviate-B Harrier 2S and F-35Bs, aircraft that are capable of vertical takeoff and landing. Eight ships are currently in active service. First laid down in 1975, the Nimitz class carrier was built to replace the Kitty Hawk and Enterprise classes, and has been the backbone of the U.S. Navy's aircraft carrier fleet since the 1980s, with 10 currently in service. The Nimitz class carrier is manned by a crew of around 5,000 when it has a full air wing, and can carry 85-90 aircraft. Nimitz class carries have become a symbol of American might, having been deployed to conduct missions all over the world. <laughs>